So one of my favorite things to do here in downtown Ventura has always been to go to the thrift stores. And we've actually got quite a few here in Ventura, but right here behind me and to the left of me is actually my favorite thrift store in town called The Coalition. So I've been coming to this thrift store for many years now, and sometimes I actually find a really good deal here. So today is Monday, March 4th, and I actually came down here on Friday the 1st, and I bought this sweatshirt here at The Coalition. But I actually came down here for a much different reason than just to buy a sweatshirt, because I didn't really need the sweatshirt. I just wanted to get a different color than what I normally wear, so I got the red one. But the other reason I came down here was to find some painting inspiration. And I wanted to paint something different than what I normally paint, so I figured, well, I enjoy going to thrift stores, so why not do a painting of my favorite thrift store? You know, I don't know how many other artists have done paintings of their favorite thrift store. I don't think it's a first, but it's definitely was a first for me. So what I did is I took some pictures inside as well as outside, went home, put the pictures on my computer screen so I could see them on a much bigger screen than on my phone. And I picked one out to do a painting of. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go home right now, show you guys some of the pictures and show you why I picked the one that I picked and show you how I did the painting and the end result. So I wanted to show you guys some of the pictures I took on Friday. And this isn't all the pictures, this is just a few of them, but I wanted to show you the process that I go through anytime I take a bunch of pictures, then I bring them home and I try to figure out which one I wanna do a painting of. So I always put them on my computer so I can see them on a much bigger screen than on my phone. Now, I actually like this picture, and this is one that I definitely considered doing a painting of. This one wasn't that inspiring to me. This one I actually like a little bit more than the first one that I showed you. So this was actually my second choice. This was actually my favorite, and this is the one that I did the painting of. So I'll come back to this one in a minute and tell you why I chose this one. So I actually considered doing a painting of the outside of the building, but the thing is, is there just wasn't really much activity going on. So I just wasn't in the mood to do the outside. Now, if there was a whole bunch of people and a lot going on, I might've considered it. So anyway, it was really between this one and this one. And I really had to think about which one I wanted to do but the reason that I chose this one is because it's looking outside the windows, which I felt gave me more possibilities than looking into the thrift store as far as doing a painting of. And, you know, it was really a close choice, but I chose this one. And I actually like this picture better than this one. And the main reason is, is because this lady to the left side of it actually adds a lot to this picture that this one doesn't have. So anyway, I realized this picture is crooked. So what I did is I straightened it up and then I printed it out. So anyway, I'm going to show you guys how I did the painting.
So I wanted to stop for a minute and explain to you guys a little bit about my style of oil painting. So I actually have a few different styles that I do. I actually have one style where I sit down and I do the whole painting in one shot. But this particular painting, this is not that type of a painting. So where I have a photograph and I'm looking at the photograph and there's a lot going on, especially when there's people, it's not a one day type thing. The painting is going to be done over three to four days, sometimes even go up to a fifth day. So I don't really know if it's going to go that far. But and when I say days, I don't mean eight hour days. I mean, the day could be three hours, four hours, six hours, eight hours. I don't know. But the point is with oil paint, I actually have to let the layers tack up usually overnight to where I can add more paint without the paint just slipping and not sticking. My only goal for today is to get the first coat on the painting. So I'm obviously not trying to paint photorealistic and I can't do that. So I don't even try to do things that I can't do like paint photorealistic. My only goal is to make a painting that I enjoy looking at. Now, you know, this is a challenging painting for me. This is not an easy painting to do. So, you know, to make a painting that I enjoy looking at, it takes a lot of effort and energy and time to actually refine it to the point where I'll be proud of the end result. So, you know, it's not simple subject matter. There's a lot happening and, you know, a lot of different colors and things going on. And I'm obviously gonna be exaggerating the colors to a great degree. And I'm not gonna be trying to write the letters really accurately, nothing like that. This is basically an impressionist, post-impressionist style painting. So it's not even made to be accurate in any way, really. You know, I'm basically getting things where roughly where they're supposed to be, but I'm exaggerating the perspective and making it a painting. I mean, it's definitely not a photograph in any way. So anyway, but this is how I enjoy painting. So I just wanted to explain to you guys a little bit about what's happening here.
Okay, so it's time to take a break from painting for a little while and go on in the dining room and make some orange juice. That's good. You just can't beat fresh orange juice. It's a lot of work for a little bit of orange juice, but it's well worth it. The work isn't so much peeling the oranges, it's cleaning this juicer. But for this kind of orange juice, it's well worth the time. a little bit difficult to know exactly when a painting is finished but for me there comes a point with every painting where I just have to stop working on it and this painting has hit that point so this is my fourth day working on it so the first day I worked on it for roughly four hours second day about the same the third day I'm gonna guess that I worked on it for around six hours or so and then today about an hour so right now I'm into it for about 15 hours and as I'm sitting here looking at it, I can still see things that I could still add more detail to. I could fine tune things and adjust things, but I just feel like I've taken it far enough. So I'm not gonna do any more work on this painting because I don't wanna overwork the painting and I actually like the way that it looks right now. So anyway, I'm gonna zoom in on it so you guys can take a closer look at it. <laughs> 